So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to try and make a little start on this piece. Um, I'm going to draw a tree on here. Uh, I'm using a non-permanent pencil um, and I already put some black acrylic paint on here. And my idea is to use my glue gun to uh, go over my pencil lines. And after that, we're going to be doing a pour on it. And I wanted to try some gold leaf. I just got some gold leaf in and I just never tried it before. And I thought this would be the perfect project to try. Uh, let's start by drawing uh, the tree. And it's not my own idea. I got it from AB Creative and probably somebody else did it before her. But I saw it on AB Creative's channel. I will link the video in my description. So let's start by probably the trunk. So I think it would be like somewhere here. And then of course you get the roots. So I don't want to uh, draw a lot because with the glue gun it's not really very thin so it's probably better to draw less lines so I think that should be enough of a root system because I also want the pore to be still visible. So let's go to the branches. Okay, so maybe one more branch around here. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like this and let's heat up the glue gun. So I heated up my glue gun. I couldn't find my big one, so I'm using my smaller one. And I just got a piece of plastic so I can wipe it down. Well, let's just start. So I try to start out just a little bit thicker and then when I come to the end I just ease up on the amount of glue I'm going to let out. And at the very tip I'm just pressing the nozzle into the canvas. Once it's dry, you can easily remove those uh, little um, threads. So as you can see, I tried to give it a little bit of a twisted shape. I thought it would look a little bit more interesting than just a normal straight tree. Just gonna unplug. So just unplug my little glue gun and just be careful, these stay hot quite a while. So keep them out of reach of children and pets. 
So it's the next day, uh, I ran out of time, so I cleaned up all the little spider webby things and it's all nice and dry, hard, so I'm ready to do my paint pour. So the paints I'm using are all um, craft paints, just cheap craft paints mixed with my PVA glue. I had them laying around and I wanted to finish them off. So. Let's pour these in the cup. I made them pretty thick. Hopefully that's gonna work out the way I want it. And I made up a dark purple, a lilac, a metallic purple. And I've got a baby blue. And a blue metallic. So I didn't make up as much of the uh, metallics as I did with the other colors. Just because I don't want it to be too much. So let's add some more. I do got, have a lot of bubbles, but I don't mind actually. It will create some interest in the painting. So let me show you the cup. Looking pretty, pretty cool, nice lines. So what I want to do is ring pour this cup into my dustpan but I don't want it to be dry so I've got some leftover paint and I'm just going to pour a little bit in not too much and I'm just going to wet the whole base just to help the other color slide so let's do a ring pour So it's looking pretty nice. I'm going to just try and get the paint to be on both sides. I'm just trying to get the weight of the paint to be a little bit more equal. So let's hope this works. There you go. My dustbin is looking stunning. Let's torch this one. As you can see, it gives these little effects. So let's do the same with the canvas. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of the thinner paint around the edges. So let me think about this. Let's see if we can get it to move.
So I really want it to go over both sides. So hopefully I've got enough paint to do that. It's just moving very slowly because it's really thick paint. So you just have to have some patience. So that took a little bit of time. So it's a bit busier than I wanted. I wanted it a little bit more like this. But that's my own mistake by keeping my paints too thick. So I'm going to let this dry. Probably going to take a couple of days and then we'll come back to do the gold leaving. So I was just moving my piece and this happened. So I will have to peel it off. Okay, let's see what we want to do now. Let's think about this. Let's try and save this piece, because sometimes accidents happen. So I got some clean film and I'm just going to put it over the piece, like so. down for a second. Okay, let's put it back over. And let's pull it back again. So it might look like a really big mess right now, but trust me, it will look better when it's dry and once the gold leaf is on it. So let's let it dry and go from there. My piece is finally dry. It took three days to dry completely, but as you can see, it stands out pretty nice. And I, I actually like the results. It fits my nail. So let's do the final step and that's adding some gold leaf to the raised areas and I'm just going to use some cheap craft glue, I think that will work fine. And I want to start with the trunk. So I cut two of the gold leaf um, squares into two pieces because I don't want to waste too much. So let's do a little bit of the glue. And just touch it to the raised areas and I could use a brush for this but with my finger I can feel way better um, if I'm just touching the top okay. now comes the tricky part so it's in between two little pieces of paper and one side is a looks like to be a little bit more shiny. So I actually want that part to stay on the paper. I've never used this before. So it's really, really, really thin. And it likes to... So that doesn't really work. Oh, making a big mess already. I can always um, change uh, my, my... So I can always think of a different way, maybe use a marker. I really like how the gold leaf shines. And might change my glue, because I don't feel like this is sticky enough. So let's brush this off, because I think it won't stick 
as well as I thought. Looks pretty though. I got this tiny container so I can put the little pieces in because I could use it for another craft. Um, like maybe add it to some resin. So let's clean this up and get my other glue, see if that one will work better. So let's try this again. I'm going to use my normal PVA glue I use for my pouring medium. And I'm going to try and apply this with a brush. I'm just letting this area dry a little bit. So let's try this again. And this time I'm not going to worry about which side is going to go down. I just want the side that sticks to the paper. trying to press it down so it will stick and I might have to leave it to dry before I try and rub the rest off and see how much did actually stick but it does look better than the first try so I'm not gonna bore you with the rest I'll just show you when I'm done so I'm completely finished with adding the gold leaf. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to brush over it again. But just a little tip to get all of the smaller parts off. This is one of those lint rollers. And you can see it all sticks to this. So it's really easy to clean because if you use like a dustpan or a hoover it will fly everywhere. So here's the final result. I'm really really happy with it. It looks so good. Look at the shine. It's like really crazy. It's not perfect. The gold leaf isn't perfect. I've got some areas where it's smudged. But that gives it character. Um, it's art. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just, if, if, if you hang it on the wall, you walk past it, it shines like crazy. I love it. I, I really love it. Um, I will have to try the gold leaf again. Uh, I will use the same PVA glue because it stuck really well. And the trick with the lint roller, perfect. No more glittery stuff on my table. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you AB Creative for being such an inspiring artist and always being kind and sweet to your followers. So this is this piece. I hope you like it just as much as I do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!